Uh, that it was racist? Like, well, what was I saying? Like, the N-word? You banter. Or... You banter a lot, you know, and you were all you like, pro-Trump, pro-Trump, pro-Trump. Well, I like Trump. What's... How, you still like him? I, I, I think he's a shell now. I think he sold himself out. I don't, you know. At I first, I was really all revved up about Trump, and then... I'm like, okay, he's a shell. But I'd choose him over Hillary any day. Really blunt and that stuff too, like but that. I like it. I think a ball needs to be built. You need to build walls. You know, if you, it's like, okay, then don't lock your card, the door in your car then, if you don't want people getting into it. Open borders? I don't think you want open borders and letting everybody from the no, world I in think here. That those things need to be tightened up. They do. Yeah. And That's why people voted for Trump. But. But not that way. Lots of people are cheated out of their jobs. They can't find any work because they hire, you know. It goes so much deeper than that. Like, think about I know it does, Mom. I mean, all these kids that are now, that they're basically put in prison because their parents brought them over here. Their parents have been deported back by Trump, and these kids... Are stuck well, that's here. not fair to do it to the kids. They got to send the kids right. back and to their parents. But they're not, and stuff. And it's like but the parents shouldn't even come here in the first place, and shouldn't have come to the states in the first place, putting the children well, in that risk. Well, you see, most people who've got a little bit of education and stuff will, or if they have any intelligence, will do it the proper way. But they're so impatient. That this is why they have to jump the border and work illegally and stuff. If you're just patient, yeah, you know you can do. And it. they're putting you their kids in it. danger. Like the I know the kids, Not oh really. the children, the children. But parents put their children in that situation. That's right. Would you put me in a dangerous situation no. just because you wanted to go jump unless the border? I it was life and death. Yeah, unless if it was life and but death, and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's not. They just want a better life. And there's in some America. places in Mexico that are just lots of places in, that are just beautiful. You know, and they're fine. They're, but they want to. Anyways, yeah. So, but I would say stuff on Facebook like yes. that was pro-Trump. Yes, you could probably go back and look at things that you posted. I deleted my account, but it's probably still on somewhere. Well, it's out there in outer space. It never. You delete your account, everything's still out there. Yeah. Anybody who knew you, who would know you would just know that you're raging and bantering and you're just in a mood. But I do have right-wing views, and you do know that. Yes, I do I know that. I am quite right-wing. And I respect that. You can mm. think that. Right, and I'm right, not right totally to the things. left either. I, I think I'm somewhere kind of in the middle. There's Everybody says they're somewhere in the middle, though. That's <laughs> because okay. Sometime, and that's okay, but sometimes my English teacher used to get so frustrated by that because people would say they're in the middle because they're afraid of you know, taking a stand of... They're afraid of saying no, their opinion because no, they're afraid no one I, will like I them. I have my things I can take a Everybody stand Everybody says on. they're in the middle, and I'm but right. But sometimes, I you know, right. I'm not a very political person, so if I Well, sometimes I don't it's have, just like you don't no, care. No, I'm not a very political person. I don't follow politics very much. I just kind of live in my own little world, mm -hmm. and I'm fine with that. Some people are very political. Well, you're a homebody, like you said. some people aren't and I'm one yeah. of those so some I just feel don't. like sometimes I'm not educated enough mm, to have a point to right. know where you stand so I'm yeah not, I'm not going to yeah. go and say something yeah, yeah. when I don't yeah. know what the opposing side yeah. is going to exactly. say it's better just yeah. to keep my mouth shut and that's smart mom and I that's can smart. say well this is what I believe but I'm not following politics like all over the world or yeah. whatever I don't really know what's going on I'm anywhere with. And I've always been like that. I just don't have a mind for it. You don't have that global mind like I do. No. Or and so, or Ashley you know, does. It's or... Ashley really does. He, right from the time he was little, he was very political. And very all about like, justice and, and stuff like that. Hmm. But I'm different. So, What do you think Ashley's just... political views are at? Probably pretty right wing. Like me. But he liked Obama and he liked... The left. He really likes the left. I can guarantee he doesn't like Trump. Yeah, he doesn't like Trump, but he doesn't like the left. He doesn't he does. vote for leftist. 
No, I'm not mm-hmm. talking about uh, uh, the American mm. politics. I'm talking about Canadian. Canadian yeah, politics. Canadian. No, Canadian politics. He doesn't like even at he was saying like, oh, Grandpa and Judy are so hardcore conservative. Nah, nah, nah. And yeah. Ashley even told me he said he's a liberal. That's what yeah. he told me. Yeah. But I'd say he's more on a level. How is he right wing? Like I am. Well, he he's he's got very kind of black and white views about a lot of things too, about things that aren't fair and that are fair to him and whatever. Like you know, I do. He's just trying to raise a family and wants to make the world right for his own kids and stuff like that. Yeah. And, you know. Well, that's how I'd be too if I had kids. And I don't even have kids because I just want things to be right. It's right or you don't have kids at all. I'm not uh, going to. Uh, it's not, it's, and I wasn't expecting to uh, have ticks at, again like this. I was expecting, like, for a while, I'm like, oh, I grow out of oh, my like ticks. I I'm said. normal. Nope, I'm not. It's time. bad again. Yeah. And how am I right wing in my views? Well, it, I think you're just really blunt. Uh, you're blunt in a lot of ways. You just say exactly what's on your mind. And I think you... I just... I don't know. I think... That makes um, me right wing. Think, no. But you are... I think you're a little bit racist. In the sense that... Um, you know, maybe if you... Maybe you'd have different views if you kind of came from some hardship or, um, right. not that you've had it mentally hard, but you know, like yeah, I said, a lot of, like you get angry about the immigration thing and all that kind of stuff, but hey, you hold there's there some people who are so desperate for, for one reason or another to be because of health care. Not that America has good health care. I know, no kind but of... But, like, I coming know. into Canada and stuff I like know. that. Like, it should be hard to get in here. And I know. And we are a yeah, little bit loosey-goosey why. about it. Yeah. And I Yep, and there's the that. problems. Like, you go down in the streets of Kelowna and Penticton and everywhere in Vancouver. It's like, we need to take care of the problems that are we already have before we bring other people yes. in. And it's taking and more than what they that. can deal with. And for me, things like... <clears throat> Somebody like you, yeah, who is on a, a you know, person with disability, um, yeah, for the rest of your life, yeah, if you choose to be, how on in the hell when it's like you're not abusing this in mm-hmm. any way, you yeah. get like this minimal amount of money, yeah, that's below the poverty level, yeah, yet your rents are sky high, you yeah, en- you're, you end up with like three hundred dollars a month. And then yet an immigrant can yep. come in That's why, and yeah. walk in and they can have four so, children and yep. they're going to be making about $2,500 yeah. a month without even working. And they mm-hmm. set them up with an yep. apartment and stuff. Yep. But then here's you. Yep. Yep. And mom, this is why See, I hold the xenophobic views that I no, do. But this is, this is the kind of things that I agree upon. Yes. I think that just because if you're an immigrant and you come in, yeah. That you know what, we can give you a leg up, but it's like no, you're like the people that are here, that have been born, that have legitimate mm-hmm. reasons for being on welfare or whatever, yeah, um, or disability. You can't come in here, and from India and be mentally ill and think that Canada's going to take care of you. This mm-hmm. is, that's not yeah. Or you can't you come know. in with a whole bunch of children and expect them to do that. Yeah. Because our way in our country is we have maybe... But you know, one thing, that know. if you think about it, also, I'm just, I'm just talking mm-hmm. about like Southeast Asians, East Indians and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Is the welfare office full of them? No. That's one people you don't see. Usually... They come and you don't see the Chinese in there they either. Have they usually money. The people who come from India, they usually have but, but they're coming money. in. But they're coming in and, the and then yeah. what the problem is 
they live in these big, huge, yep. giant houses, yep. and there'll be like six or seven families, and they all live together, yep. and they pay one tax on that house. Yeah. Right? And Yeah, and Chinese will do and it too. Yes, and culturally, that's how they, they live do it. there. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a problem culturally, but if you have more than, say, a generation, I can see mm -hmm. grandparents with their children and grandchildren mm -hmm. living in a house. Mm -hmm. That's but you know what? Any more than that, if you're sharing a house, okay, it's your brother, it's your sister, mm -hmm. your grandmother lives in there, your auntie, your uncle, yeah. all that, that is like, you know what? Okay. That's yeah. not okay. All these people that can be, you know, like... I don't see it as that stuff. bad. I wonder why us uh, European culture, we don't do that anymore because... Hundred years ago, this well, was normal in European lived. culture. Well, that's how everybody lived, and not not necessarily in the same house, but on the same property. Yes, people would live like that, yes. and and I think that know, that's a good. Thing. I don't think it's a bad but thing. There's not property like that anymore. I like know. Before there was like property. Right? Yeah, where people could do that. You know, have you could even have your separate house. Well, and that's things how like, like that and grandma, homesteads. Yeah, at Grandma and Grandpa Moy's. Yeah, that was a homestead. There was. There was their, their original house me. that they built I with their own Kate two Moore. hands. Your grandma and grandpa Knutson, yep. grandma mm -hmm. Moy's parents, yeah, came from Norway. They bought a they didn't they bought a piece of land. Yep. They built the house. Yeah, and then they built a house mm -hmm. for their daughter mm -hmm. Margaret, and they built a house for Gunnar and Oscar down the road. They built a house for Jenny. They built a house for Esther. Yeah, they did that. Yes, and everybody had their plot of land. Yeah, and though still you know, there are certain pla places you can still do that. There's quite a big thing with there's with a certain demographic of people my age going out and doing that because they can't afford to live in the city. For people my age, there's no employment, yes. and a lot of them have challenges that I have. Mm -hmm. You know, you have challenges like me. There's no employment. It's forty percent of millennials who have something, whether it's depression or autism or. They have, it's 40% of that. So, you know, they, they're unable to get jobs. They're unable to do this and that. So they just go in homestead because that's what they can afford. And they have parents' inheritance money, well, which they go and do, do and that. Some, some, some do. Some, most people don't. Some people do. Some and some do, like I generous. said, but some families to do that. And they just buy land, like, in the middle, like, you know, nowhere. And it's cheap. Yes. But then where are you going to work when you're in the middle of the They land? just live off the land. They make a homestead well, and they just live off the yeah. land. Well, that's kind of communal living, too. That's what they're doing, yes. Left. Communal right. living can also be right. No. So, I mean... Communal living can be a right-wing there, thing as well. Like, that's why I say I'm kind of in mm -hmm. the middle. So, that's one of those yeah, things well, that I'm kind of in the middle about, right? Like a homestead, to me, making a homestead seems very right to me. Yeah, seems very yeah. right to me. I As would. Well. I, that's what I would have loved. A commune, and the problem with communes, I like the idea of a commune, but the problem is it gets so loosey goosey and wishy washy. I'd want to be in a right wing commune where there's just more stricter kind of rules. And if I were in a cult, because communes can very get they very can culty very yep. quickly. Yep. When one person's the leader. It gets, yeah, and that's they can. the whole idea. And that's With the other commune, thing, yeah. It's not, there's not supposed to be a leader. It's supposed to be everybody working together. And they never, that never but, happens a lot. No. And that's how it goes. There's no such thing as everybody gets all equal. There's none. There's always no. going to be. Commune, commune. Power level. That's how it all comes about, right? Yeah. Where everybody's equal. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't, that doesn't work out that way. It doesn't matter how hard you yep. work. And I'm not saying there's the anything the bad about anything you, being culty. Yeah. Because I don't see that as a, a bad if they say, oh, it's a cult, it's a cult. But lots of things are cults. Like Star Wars is a cult. Star Trek oh, is a cult. Wow. Video games is a cult. They, yeah, people, know. there's nerdy guys with Asperger's yeah, but who will spend all their money on plastic figurines. Of, of course. And then they all hang they out. Should, and then they have one leader, Trekkie. they should be moving their life forward. Yeah, and, and being adults, being you know. Responsible. And then buying those things for their kids, you know. Yeah. yeah. Buying those things for their kids. What a cult. The Zoplicone can take a couple hours to kick in, too. It can take half an hour. Sometimes but it takes a couple hours. You are, the Not with Zoplicone. That no, stuff will knock like... me out. Yeah, it does. Melatonin. 
You have to be. No, you have to be calm and relaxed. Yeah. But Zoppelcone eventually Otherwise will. Otherwise, you, you miss the moment where you'll just. Yep. Zoppelcone, not as much. And I'm starting to feel it hamper me down. Sometimes it'll take two hours. That's what Dr. Bowles said. It, so it Dr. Bowles the one that two prescribed hours. that to you? Yep. You've never been described. I've had it prescribed by Dr. Crichton before when I was on Salt Spring. Oh, yeah. But then I just threw the prescription in the garbage because I was just too, you know, it cunty. was the habit for me. <laughs> I was just too what? Oh, cunty. You were just being too cunty. No. I was, <laughs> I was just being too, well, I don't know about this. These, yeah. The addiction factor. And, but I'm not... I don't miss well, as long as, you, as, I long don't as you, um, we'll see a lot of people would, mm -hmm. if you had other drug abuse problems yeah, and stuff and like don't. that, that would be an issue. Right? Yeah. And if you don't abuse mm -hmm. it and stuff like that. No, I don't. It's a controlled because substance. If you, if you went in and, and there's said, another tick med, apparently. I've done a little bit of research. It's not official or anything. And I've talked with the psychiatrist. From the evaluation and the, stuff. The psychologist. Psychologist from the evaluation. They can't talk yeah. about meds or anything, but just... I've heard one of the best ones for ticks still is Clonopin, mm -hmm. you know, and that's another mm -hmm. controlled substance. That's mm -hmm. something, you know, because mm -hmm. it doesn't have the side effects that antipsychotics have. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, you know, but that's another controlled substance. And they, and they had their daughter, someone on... The forums, they had their daughter on Clonopin, and they say it works the best because yeah. all with I the... I don't think it was Clonopin you were on when you were younger. It was, I think it was Clemanzapin. There's Clemanzapin, yeah. Which is an antipsychotic. Yeah. Like Seroquel. Yeah, but Clonopin works very well. Clonopin is used for seizures or things because it's like I need something. Because what's going on in my brain? Like, I'm not psychotic. No, you're I'm I not, you're not mentally I'm ill. I'm not having these psychotic episodes I have a thing in my brain I can't shut off I know it's like a seizure that's what ticks are kind of like having a seizure when you're awake yeah so well it'll be up to what Dr. Bull has to say but well you gotta get on it yep if you want to start looking for work and stuff like that you gotta get that's on why, it and yep. get your mm -hmm. brain kind of somewhat yep. level by Fenton and the same with clonopin as it can be take as needed. And someone mm -hmm. on, I was just discussing on online forums, these are other parents mm -hmm. and families who have mm -hmm. Tourette sufferers. And they're saying it works, the clonopin works well for their daughter because she doesn't need to take it. It's not something she continue. it can be taken as needed. Yeah. So then she's just not like So if you're going to work or you're going yeah. to school or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to take it constantly. Yeah. That's like something you need for school or work. And by Fenton... It was Dr. Slane who said that it works the best with Tourette's. I remember I, I was on Ritalin when I was under Dr. Slane do, and it was terrible. And I remember I came in screaming, and he co comforted me, and I was in a panic. It was Ritalin's, really bad. Yeah, and you were you were on Ritalin when you were little for maybe a 